Hey everybody, Ian here. Uh, so first of all, happy February. Welcome to February. Um, it kind of felt like this month was never going to come. January really, really overstayed its welcome, in my opinion. Um, a lot of stuff happened in January, and it feels like it went really, really slow and really, really fast at the same time. And I'm just, I'm glad it's over, uh, even though February is gross. But so, anyway, regardless of any of that, I'm sure you're all wondering why I have gathered you here on this lovely day. At least it's lovely here where I am. I mean, the windows are, the, the blinds are closed, but I can see the sun poking through. It's nice everywhere, right? I think as goes California weather, so goes the nation's weather. I think that's the way it works. Um, but so anyway, the reason I have gathered you here on this lovely February 1st is because I have been in search of a new type of project. Uh, and I really like doing the those daily like wine reviews that I did in December. That was fun to just kind of, you know, be uploading every day and, and be giving my, you know, my unsolicited opinions on, on various, you know, wines. And I thought I would do that same thing, except extend it into the, the universe of movies, romantic comedies specifically, uh, in honor of the month of February. So during this month, the month of February, I will be uploading a new video every day, uh, reviewing a new... A romantic comedy that I have not seen or or at least that I watched the night before um, I intend on doing just one per day but there's gonna be a couple days that I do on, on like Valentine's Day for example and I think on the last day of the month I'm gonna do like like two or three movies that I'll review at once but for the most part it's gonna be one movie a day um, and I'm excited I haven't actually seen many romantic comedy movies I, I've seen a few here and there uh, and I feel like I kind of get the gist of them but that this I feel like this will be an interesting broadening of my horizons in in some sort of sense um, but so anyway let's just get down to the February 1st uh, romantic comedy movie uh, I watched it last night the night of January uh, 31st I, mean, I usually film all my videos the night before but I'm filming this on February 1st it's very weird um, but so the movie I watched last night, it was Crazy Stupid Love from 2011, uh, starring uh, Steve Carell and Julianne Moore, Kevin Bacon, um, Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling, uh, a sort of similar to those, you know, like the New Year's Eve slash Valentine's Day, you know, Love Actually, a th ensemble cast, but it wasn't quite... It, it wasn't quite those. There wasn't, you know, a, an ensemble cast of like 10 or 15 people. It was like six or seven. Still a very impressive cast. Uh, and, and what I have to say about this movie, is, I mean, it, it is very good. I, I really liked this movie. I, I saw this not when it came out, but like right after it came out on DVD, I guess I bought it because I remember watching it in like 11th grade which would have been in like 2012 and it came out in 2011 so I must have bought it like right after I got it on DVD. I remembered liking it back then and there were a couple specific lines that I remembered and a couple scenes but for the most part I, I, a, a lot of what was happening was a surprise. Um, and in terms of surprises in general this movie is, is actually has several of them. There are several you know not like necessarily earth-shattering twists but very big you know, identities are revealed that, that weren't clear in the beginning, and, and it makes it a very fun experience to be watching this movie. And and it's also aided by, you know, not just the, the plot alone and, and the very um, naturally progressing plot, but it was also, it, it was very well acted. I felt like everyone did a very good job. Uh, Ryan Gosling, in particular, in particular, stood out. He was very good. And actually looked this up uh, after I watched it, and I read that he got a Golden Globe nomination for this. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it, I guess it's possible that he didn't. I, I'm pretty sure he did. And I think it was deserved. He did a very good job in this movie. He was very convincing. Uh, he's a good actor. Um, but I mean, even I mean Emma Stone, who's also a very good actor, Steve Carell is obviously very good. Julianne Moore is a very, I think she's a very critically acclaimed actor. Uh, Kevin Bacon was good in it, even though he had a very minor role. Um, it, it, it was just very well acted. And it was, it was also very, you know, like I was saying, the plot of it was very good. And also the dialogue in it was really good. That was something I noticed from the very beginning. It just had very natural, but very funny and very witty dialogue very clearly had gone through several, you know, layers of thought, but they still put an effort to make it believable. You know, some th thing I've noticed about 
like the movie The Fault in Our Stars, which I have not seen in a long time. Um, and I, I didn't particularly care for it. One of the reasons was because it was very, like, the dialogue was interesting in it, but it was very unnatural. I don't believe that any people would talk the way that they do in, in those, like, young adult novels. I felt like it, in Crazy Stupid Love, even though it was, you know, like I said, very thought out and, and very funny and witty and clever, they, it still felt organic. It still felt like these were real conversations that actual people would be having, which I, is important to me as a person who, who likes writing and, and particularly likes dialogue. I, I pay a lot of attention to that, and I pay a lot of attention to how, how realistic it is or not and how forced some lines seem, and, and, and there was very little... This, this movie clearly underwent a lot of effort to be made, but the effort does not, it, it, it doesn't appear labored. It's very, it, it seems effortless, uh, which is, it's good. Uh, and it was also very well directed. I felt like they had good, good shots and good kind of like reveals of things and, and good, um, just uh, like the opening scene is, is just showing a bunch of people on the, the movie, the main plot of the movie is just that Steve Carell and Julianne Moore are married and they're having, they, they are, are about to get a divorce. Um, and the way that the movie starts is that it's a bunch of people uh, just in a fancy restaurant and, and all it's showing is like under the table and you're seeing everyone's, you know, fancy dresses and their shoes and their nice slacks and everything. Like five or, I feel like four or five different couples. And then, and then the last couple it shows is this woman wearing a very nice dress and shoes and this guy wearing like baggy pants and like New Balance tennis shoes. And I, I just from the very beginning, I felt like they did a good job of like, oh, that it's, it's clear that like he has he is not as invested as as she is or as all the other couples are there, there's very clearly a problem with his level of like i said investment um and yeah just from really like i said from the very beginning it's i mean from the very first like scene it's just it's it feels like it's firing on all cylinders the music was also very interesting um they had very who i'm not sure who's in charge of picking the music i, I didn't look that up but it's it was a very I don't I don't even quite know how to describe the type of music there was but there was very it was a lot of music that seemed like it would be out of place but it wasn't and I think it would have been had this movie been made in any other way um, but it was just because of the way that this was made and the way that this was acted and written and directed it it was the music was very ended up being very fitting and very it, it's striking because of how seemingly out of place it was and and how actually out of place it would have been had this been a different movie uh this is a very good movie crazy stupid love is a very solid movie it's not like you know it, it's it, 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 this is obviously not you know some epic piece of cinema and this is this is not like earth shattering or, or world changing uh, art, but this is a very, very enjoyable movie from literally from start to finish. Um, and there, like I was saying earlier, there's several, I, I guess, twists would be the right word. Um, and I'm not going to spoil, obviously, but like I said, there, there are just identities that are revealed throughout the movie that it's like, oh shit, that's that person. Okay. Um, and it's it's good. It's a very good movie. It's very fun. And um, I was actually watching it with a friend of mine last night. And it, when we started it, it was two hours. And, and we were just watching it. She lives in Toronto. Um, and so we were just texting it, texting each other as we were watching it. And when we started, she was like, oh, this is two hours. I'll probably have to, you know, le uh, go before this ends. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Because Toronto's three hours ahead. Um, and she ended up saying for the entire movie, it, it like woke her up and, and she got really invested in it and, and very invested in the, in the characters and, and themselves and in the, in, uh, the screenplay and just everything. It's a very, I know I keep saying this, it's a very good movie. If you're, if you're looking for a, a solid, funny, well put together movie that has very believable, convincing, funny acting I recommend this movie. This is a very good movie. Um, and and I know I've, I've mentioned this several times, but all of the actors in the movie, even the, the kid actors, which is very rare. Kid actors are usually not very good. All of the actors in this movie are, are 
very are, do a very good job. I know I keep using the word very. I should find a different like adjective, because um, that's not very creative of me. Um, <laughs> but yes, definitely a good movie. I, I recommend this movie. I recommend Crazy Stupid Love. Um, but so anyway, I after how long has it been? Like ten minutes. I will uh, bid you adieu. These shouldn't. These should be in, in kind of in the range of those wine videos. Probably about ten or twelve minutes each. These won't be super long. And like I said, I will be uploading these every day in February. Uh, so look forward to more of these. Um, anyway, I guess I will just uh, leave you with this. Yeah, definitely go watch Crazy Stupid Love. Um, Anyway, have a great rest of your night or day, depending on what time you're watching this. Uh, someone is texting me. I'm getting... No one ever texts me. I'm so excited. Um, anyway, yeah, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.